A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem, and priest of God Most High, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king, and he was also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. Without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of days or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so, not by a law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm, you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he will cure him on the Sabbath so that they may accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, It is lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it. But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grief at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the men, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out immediately to counsel with their Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord. Please say When you see this gospel that immediately is almost in the beginning to decide to uh, get killed into Jesus, it's kind of surprising that how was uh, this message so strong that since the beginning they decided to take care of Jesus in a not good way. For us, remind us that when there is somebody who gets out of the classic methods of the orthodox ways, it's immediately um, kind of 
subject to our criticism. But in the case of Jesus, he sent a message not long ago with this gospel, and it just started. And the people decided to uh, get their attention to this messianic Judaism. When Jesus came, there was the Roman Empire taking uh, this rule over the uh, uh, Judea, and there is groups who are around Jesus, groups who had the control of the temple, groups who has uh, kind of approach to the political um, uh, leaders. In the case of Herodians, they were supporting Herod as the one who is now the king of the Jews. But no one has the right to give the title of king, only the ones who are being sealed and anointed by the high priest. This is the, go the gospel uh, remind us this today. There is not just the Pharisees, but also the Herodians. Why I mention that the priests, or in the case of the prophets in the Old Testament as well, because you had the blessing. You had not just the title. It's not just about this recognition. You had the power. You had the sponsorship of God behind you. So that every decision you make, you have also the support of the clergy. You had the support of God because they were sealed. They were anointed. Today is very important day for this country. And I don't want to get kind of political with you. But this is a, a, a area I want to mention today. This is not just about having the power. It's about having the support and the protection of God. And even we are in these days so divided and could have different views. What is important is that people of America has faith and has the resolution of expecting the best. We are in the middle of a pandemic. We are in the middle of different opinions and God forbid something no pleasant happen today. And the only thing we can ask is that the Lord uh, gives the power, gets the control, but not just for the having just power and control, but also the presence of God. This is how important, for example, today is that uh, remember this part of the political life in the past. Now we only we want to expect the best. This is the thing we have to be in our hearts, to restore, to get united, and move forward. And we always have the right to demand the best of our people who govern us, because this is our the vocation, call to serve the people, not their interests, not the ones who sponsor them. This is how it remain, remind me that, for example, in my country is forbidden it's unlawful to receive money from any private sector, any company. The money that supports your campaigns came from the taxpayers and is assigned according to the number of the votes. But that gives us the, uh, the authority to keep them, you know, vigilant on them. So some people don't get too involved in the political arena just because they want the money of campaigns. This is how sometimes uh, senators and representatives get some millionaire from one to five years they are millionaires. How is that going to happen? So dear sisters and brothers, I mentioned this just from the gospel. I'm inviting you to pray for the rectitude, the praying for the rightfulness uh, for those ones who are going to take uh, the church in this new chapter in this country. Besides your views, the only thing we need to uh, ask the Lord is to give us common sense and the civility to do the right thing. And what I mention now back to the gospel is because the motion of the priest, uh, the uh, this case today reminds us the figure of Melchizedek. 
This is the figure of the priest who comes not just to serve the table, not just to take care of the church, but as well to intercede, to ask supplications for the ones who is coming with offerings. Is the priest. The priest is the one um, who are offering sacrifices, but now it's Jesus Christ the one who comes to do sacrifice, but not just to do sacrifice to uh, his father, but also to see, be an instrument, an effective instrument to save the ones who are next to him. This is how Jesus is healing this man and the widow hand today. He's not just coming to restore the idea that you are forgiven. He indeed has the power. He indeed cured the physical condition of this man. But important thing as well is returning the dignity. You are forgiven. Now, for us, it is what we want, dear sisters and brothers, for the action of Jesus Christ in our parish. We come here, not because we have to come because God is going to be mad with us, because I want to show that I am a good Christian. No, I came to pray as a Baptist person, man or woman. You offer sacrifice for someone else. It's how important the prayers of the living are for the dead or for the living as well. You pray matters. And when the priest has the support of you, this table becomes something amazing. It's not just seeing the priest. Huh. I don't like how he He doesn't mean. He's playing wrong. Oh, he say amen. It's amen. Learn English. Well, you're more concerned about what is how he's doing, or you're concerned that you are part of this. You are participating with open heart. You are practicing our faith. Or just checking what he's doing, if he's doing on Sabbath, yes, but not. It's important, all these regulations and all these crazy things in liturgy that is important. I said, some people get so obsessed, I don't know, they're seeking some, something else. But it's very important to offer the sacrifice with our active participation in faith because there are things that the community is not aware of. This is why we have the prayer of the faithful. That is where we respond. Amen. Hosanna. Glory to God in the highest. We are part of this. May the Lord help us to be the connection between those ones who suffer and those ones as well who need our prayers. May the Lord bless our identity as well to be like Jesus, a true a fair, faithful servant who serves sacrifice for those ones who can be here. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stay. Brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayers for this community and for our country, let us pray to Christ the Lord that He can heal our hearts, support our lives, and give what they need for the people with different needs. For the whole Christian people, let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord For those who call public office today, let us call upon the power of the Lord guided through Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord For our brothers and sisters who cannot be present in this sacred assembly, let us beseech him who observes all things, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For the repose of all the souls of the faithful departed, let us call upon the judge of all humanity, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For ourselves and those who are close to us, who await the Lord's goodness, let us call upon the mercy of Christ the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness the supplication of those who call on you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please take your seats.
Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and for the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and for the human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise of your Lord's name, for our Lord and Lord and Lord and Lord. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you have made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, our host, heaven and earth, He who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the house. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like beautiful, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Eat this, all of it, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. In memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one like the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope. And Alexander, our bishop, Father Charles, our pastor, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who had fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection for Mike Wobbleson and all those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the glory, and the glory, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In a safe manner, let us give one another a sign of peace. The Lamb of God. Dear sister and brother, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, but only say the word. The body of Christ. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, cowardly spiritually, into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, blessed are thou among women, holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love and in your kindness, make those you have nourished with this heavenly bread one in mind and heart, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a friendly reminding uh, for the schedule of these following days. Um, Saturday, Sunday Mass, I think in the evening, 5 p.m. is live streaming, and it's going to be here in the fireside room. You remember that, just in case I have to repeat it. And the Sunday Masses and Sunday, 8.30 a.m., 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. are going to be in the church. No live streaming. So please always consider, and as I told you on Monday, be patient, try to get in the timings, and remember that Mass uh, is supposed to be uh, an opportunity to gather again uh, unless you are part of this really uh, group in danger and you had some kind of other illness that you need to be more aware and take care of yourself and understand that. But as well, I, for this, I asking you to be patient if you're driving through uh, to go to the community. So please follow the indication of the servers and as well to be mindful that uh, Communion of drive through don't supposed to happen, as I said on Monday. It does supposed to happen. Is the law? He says forbidden. He says it cannot happen. But we do it because we are in pandemic time and because we love you so much. But don't demand, well, how can I know what time I have to go to communion? Patient and, and see, read the situation. And uh, come at the usual time when we are almost finished the Mass, uh, especially those ones who are coming to 
I think the communion 8.30 or tonight, coming tonight. There is something at 11, coming almost at 5 to noon, something. And then at 1.30, you know, Father, uh, it's around 2.30, but we have a plan and design. So thank you so much for support us. As another uh, spoiler alert, uh, for us Wednesdays, the masses are the following. 8.30 a.m., no, sorry, 8 a.m. It's going to be 8 a.m. on English, 10 a.m. Spanish, noon English, 6 p.m. English, and 7.30 p.m. Spanish for Ash Wednesday. We are going to visit Ash? Yes, a lot. And for uh, Stations of the Cross, I want to invite to all of you to be patient because we are going to design the bilingual form for the Station of the Cross with the Blessed Sacrament uh, Exposition. Two for one. And because we love you so much, we also, at that time, 6 p.m. is going to be the um, uh, Confessions, 7 p.m. is the Holy Hour of the Station of the Cross, and then also Saturday Confessions. So you have plenty of time. And as well to remind you that if you hablas español, tenemos Hora Santa el último sábado de mes, el 30 de enero a las 7 de la noche. We have Holy Hour. If you want to practice Spanish, that's fine. At 7 p.m. on this Saturday 30, January 30, 7 p.m. here in the church. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and may the Lord bless you, bless this country. Go now. The Mass is 